In Diablo 2, there's a lot of unique weapons to choose from, but one of the more interesting groups for me has always been the crossbow. This is because a mix of nostalgia for whenever a few of them were considered overpowered, as well as the fact that, unlike the normal bows, they appeal to much more niche and odd builds that most people wouldn't consider playing. Though, starting out, we've got to get the basic birds out of the way, with lead crow, or would it be lead crow? Who knows? But at level 9, it can be an okay bow for a starter, thanks to that deadly strike and poison resist. But you will find that you quickly outgrow it, especially since its attack speed, like many of the normal looking crossbows, is rather abysmal. Next, we have Icker String, packing a little bit of increased attack speed to help with that slowness we spoke of, but only a little. This is a fairly fun weapon for early mage zones thanks to the pierce, but with lack of mana recovery you'll find it a little underwhelming at times, or in short, other than piercing, it's not bad, it's just not better than some rares you'll find by level 18. After that, we have our first Explodey Boy, Hellcast. This is essentially the crossbow equivalent of Ravenclaw, firing exploding arrows, adding fire damage. This one even gives you a little bit of extra fire resist to boot, though unfortunately, even the increased attack speed cannot make this amazing. With mediocre damage for its level, it usually flies a bit low compared to the other options as you approach your late 20s, sadly making it fit in the realm of it would be better if it required 10 levels less. The last of the normal difficulty crossbows is Doomslinger, whose base is the black sheep of the crossbow family. This is because repeating crossbows have exceptional base speed, making them more in line with normal bows, albeit using a different animation. That however does not help Doomslinger itself a ton since its damage is fairly low, but with plus Amazon skills, piercing attack, and an extra attack speed on top of its fast base speed, it's not as bad as it looks at first glance, it just hints at something that can be coming with the big brothers of this particular weapon. As we move into the exceptionals though, we have a weapon that I'm very nostalgic for, Langer Brizer, the magic fine crossbow, and funnily enough a weapon I used both in the 1.08 version of, as well as the 1.09 version of, before sweeping changes in 1.1 kind of made it obsolete. This was because a ton of fun with multi-shot was had with this before the difficulty patches. That said, unfortunately with the current state of the game, it has really fallen off and generally you'll only find me using it in Nightmare these days. Even though it can do mediocre in hell, it will definitely be a lot slower than even some of the budget rune words. Next is Pus Spitter, probably the most pleasantly named item in the game, known mostly for being the Necromancer crossbow. It's an odd duck, packing plus two necro skills, a little increased attack speed, super low requirements for the damage. Even the level requirement is actually fine, it's just not best in slot for anything, and the chance to cast doesn't really work out in your favor for most builds that would consider using it. I don't hate it, it's just every time I've thought about trying to build around it, there's always been a better or more interesting option unless I wanted to just go all green or something. But in the big slot here, we actually have something that is beyond infamous, the Brisa do Kienen. I'm actually not sure how to pronounce that but it used to be quite accurately labeled the noob cannon, so cannon seems appropriate. Since during its early days, Guided Arrow could pierce, and due to this weapon's massive damage stacked with that, and its auto-piercing, it was able to decimate both players and bosses. Though with patches, that auto-piercing was removed from Guided Arrow, just leaving us with a much less noob-friendly, still cannon. That said, it's still solid, with good damage, good attack speed for a normal crossbow at least, and of course it still has piercing for the other arrow shots, as well as like freezing target, cold damage, dexterity, etc. It's still good, it's just not good enough to compete with things like Wind Force anymore. The last of the exceptionals is probably my favorite crossbow, though that's because I'm really biased towards it, and that's the Demon Machine. Not to be confused with Demon Crossbow, which is a base. This bow does pack some nice mods, most notably pairing Exploding Arrow with Piercing Attack, letting you chew through enemies with it on a few builds due to the mechanics of how, well, Exploding Arrow works. This combined with actually okay damage, attack rating, and attack speed makes it a fairly solid option for players seeking a crossbow to use, especially for non-Amazons. As we move into the elites, we've got the Hell Rack, a bow that I want to like, with a good deal of elemental and physical damage, and two open sockets. The big drawback is that it's just a bit slow, and it lacks the pierce that makes Bariza interesting, while being very similar in physical damage at higher levels. While I wouldn't say no to using it, by the time you get to 76, you'll likely have at least one of the more budget bows that are competitive with this, if not better, both in damage and speed. So it sits collecting dust as I hope one day to find a reliable use for this where I won't just be saying, but Bariza's better. And lastly, something I've weirdly used in Solo South found more than once is Gut Siphon. 
It's actually a super rare elite crossbow that I stumble upon more than I would necessarily want. It's okay, it's got decent base attack speed, mediocre damage, a lot of life leech though, with open wound and slow target and piercing attack as icing on the cake. I generally won't use it in final builds, but I do have some fond memories of using this bow while waiting for upgrades, it's just, again, not best in slot compared to a lot of other options. Overall, the crossbows could use some work. Some skill nerfs really broke the functionality of several of the key crossbows, and is one of the reasons I would love to see Guided Pierce return against monsters, but not against players, because that was absolutely fucking broken. Among other tweaks, of course. That said, do you have a favorite crossbow or a fond memory from your early days of playing with them? Mention it down below.